From the depths of history to the laboratories of today, India carries a legacy of imagination and invention that few nations can match. Among the most mysterious of these ideas is the concept of mechanical warriors, ancient robots of war. Were they merely myths or was ancient India dreaming of a future we are only beginning to build today? Hmm. Ancient Legends of Mechanical Warriors in Indian mythology, the divine architect Vishwakarma is often described as the creator of powerful machines and celestial weapons. Texts mention chariots that could fly, mechanical birds that could scout the skies, and even artificial beings that could serve kings and gods. One of the most fascinating stories comes from the Rig Veda, which mentions yantras, devices and machines that operated with hidden energy. Scholars have debated whether these were metaphors or real mechanical designs. Then, in later Sanskrit texts, we find references to Yantra Purusha, human-like machines that could perform tasks. In some interpretations, they were described as guards placed at palace doors, able to stop intruders. If this is true, India may have imagined the concept of humanoid robots thousands of years ago, and temples across India seem to support this imagination. Carvings of beings with metallic armor, strange mechanical animals, and patterns resembling gears and levers are scattered across ancient architecture. While mainstream historians dismiss them as symbolism, many researchers believe they may point to forgotten technologies. 2. Were they real or just symbolic? The question is simple but mysterious. Were these machines real or were they symbols of divine power? Some believe that India's imagination was far ahead of its time. Just as Da Vinci drew flying machines centuries before airplanes, ancient Indians may have imagined mechanical beings before robots existed. Others suggest that there could have been working prototypes, perhaps small mechanical devices powered by water, weights or fire. After all, Indian inventors were pioneers in mathematics, metallurgy and engineering. Is it so hard to believe that they could build advanced machines as well? 3. Knowledge lost in time Unfortunately, much of India's ancient scientific knowledge was either destroyed, looted or ignored during centuries of invasions and colonial rule. The Nalanda and Takshashila universities where mechanical sciences were studied were burned to the ground, precious manuscripts vanished. When British officers came across texts mentioning machines of war or mechanical beings, they dismissed them as fantasy. This dismissal led to a cultural amnesia, where Indians themselves stopped taking their ancient innovations seriously. But today, as we rediscover these texts, we are beginning to see that maybe they were not just stories, maybe they were visions. 4. Modern Robotics in India – DRDO's Role Fast forward to the 21st century. India is no longer just dreaming, it is building. The Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, is working on robotic systems designed for the modern battlefield. Some of these projects include Daksh Robot, a remotely operated robot used to detect and safely handle explosives. Muntra Unmanned Tank, India's first unmanned armoured vehicle capable of surveillance and combat support. Autonomous Drones, AI-powered drones designed for surveillance, targeting, and even precision strikes. Robotic mules, machines that can carry heavy loads in mountainous terrains like Ladakh, reducing the burden on soldiers. AI combat systems, experimental projects exploring the possibility of robotic companions for soldiers. These may sound futuristic, but they are already being tested, step by step. India is moving toward a future where human soldiers are supported and even protected by robotic warriors. 5. The Future of India's Robotic Army Imagine this, an Indian border post in 2040. Instead of sending human soldiers into dangerous ambush zones, India deploys robotic units are armed with sensors, AI brains and advanced weapons. These robots can survive extreme cold, navigate dark tunnels and fight tirelessly. They do not fear, they do not sleep and they never give up. They become the first line of defense while human soldiers lead with strategy. But here's the fascinating part. This vision is not entirely new. It echoes the forgotten dreams of ancient India. The Yantra Purusha of mythology could very well become the robotic Sipahi of tomorrow. And when that happens, the circle of history will close. 
what was once dismissed as a myth will finally walk the earth in steel and circuits. 6. The Global Race and India's Edge Around the world, countries like the US, Russia and China are racing to develop robotic armies. But India has a unique edge, a cultural imagination that already envisioned such machines thousands of years ago. By merging this ancient imagination with modern AI and robotics, India is not just competing, it is reclaiming its forgotten leadership. 7. Conclusion From the divine forges of Vishwakarma to the high-tech labs of DRDO, India's journey with mechanical warriors is unlike any other nations. The world may think robots are a Western invention, but the truth is, India imagined them long before the word robot was even born. And as DRDO builds the robotic army of the future, one thing becomes clear. India's myths were never just stories, they were blueprints. Thanks for watching till end. If you get some knowledge from this video, please subscribe, share and comment to encourage me to prepare more videos.